Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ratika. Welcome to Beautico. So today in this video, I wanted to share with you guys how I do my makeup in this hot, humid summer season. And as I live in Bombay, it's like super humid. It's super hot, and I need a proper makeup routine which will like last me throughout the day. And trust me, guys, this is like tried and tested. I wear it every single day. This is the makeup that I do every single day, and I am a person who goes out. to work and i'm on the field on the roads and i get sweaty i get oily but this makeup does not budge and actually i don't get oily because the things that i use on my face literally do not budge i only get sweaty and like it sweats and it falls off but my makeup does not melt you guys trust me this is like a tried and tested locked method and i hope you it helps you guys out as well so yeah if you all want to know how I get my summer makeup look. Please keep watching. But before going, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you all get notified every single time I upload. So yeah, now let's get into the video. So the first thing that you got to do is moisturize your face. I went ahead and moisturized my skin with my white seed serum. You guys know my obsession with this particular one. I use this every single day. This is my sixth bottle, by the way, and I love it to bits. So the next thing is the most important thing in summer season, specifically because it protects your skin. It is the Sun Cross sunscreen. Not in particular the Sun Cross one. This is the one which I absolutely love. It does not make me greasy, oily whatsoever. It is a little bit thick, but once it gets absorbed into your skin. You won't even feel it. So this is an SPF 50, and trust me, guys, it works wonders. I do not get tan whatsoever. I have a job where I keep roaming in the sun, and I haven't still got like that tan. So the next step is primer. Now for me, primer is very important since I'm an oily skin type of a girl. I need primer, otherwise my foundation and concealer and all of that is gonna. become very very oily and whenever i become sweaty it's just going to drip and fall so for my primer today i'm using my nyx angel wheel primer this is my trusty primer this did not get me oily whatsoever it seals my oils and literally until and unless i don't remove my makeup i'm not going to get oily this is that good so if you guys are more on the dry to normal skin tone i think normal skin tone will still be able to use this particular primer but for a dry skin type i do not recommend this one because it can be a little bit drying and it can cling to your dry patches so use a primer which is more on the moisturizing side so i apply this primer in particular near my t zone because that is where i get the most oily and then just spread it out So for foundation I have two recommendations two foundations that I absolutely love to apply during summer season where I'm going to get sweaty and it's going to be very very humid and I'm going to get oily as well so the first one is obviously my L'Oreal Mat Magic 12 hour bright matte foundation in the shade G3 I love this to bits it's almost like actually it's oh I'm just squeezing the end of the product and I'm applying it I do have a backup of this And the second one is my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Now both these foundations are like phenomenal. Every time I apply it, they do not budge. They do not make me oily whatsoever. They last me throughout the day, even 24 hours, guys. This one says 12 hours, but trust me, this lasts for 24 hours on my skin, and I'm very, very oily. And the best part about this particular one is that it does not apply like it is a matte foundation, but it won't make you look like a dead matte. It still looks like skin. It's still a little bit glowy, and I love that fact about this foundation. The Smashbox one is a little bit more on the matte side. as compared to this one but still this is also very very good so today i'm going to use my l'oreal true matte foundation because i just feel like using this one and then i'm going to blend everything out with my beauty blender this is my eco tools eco tools beauty blender and guys this is the best beauty blender that i've ever used 
it is so so soft it is a little bit more on the expensive side you get this on amazon for 1200 rupees but you actually get two sponges one is a smaller one and one is a bigger one the smaller one has a different kind of a manufacturing because that is a little bit more harder but this one is so squishy so soft i love this beauty blender so whenever i apply foundation i don't go for a very full coverage look and specifically in the summer season i just want a little bit of coverage i want my actual skin peeking through so that it looks more natural i like that more than a full coverage foundation look and that is the reason i love the smashbox one and the l'oreal matte magic because they are like a medium coverage foundation both the smashbox one smashbox one as well as the l'oreal one they are pretty much medium coverage and if you all want a fuller coverage you all can you know apply two layers of this particular foundation and you will get that but i like my skin to breathe a little bit so i go for a medium coverage and i feel like that is pretty much how much i like covering my face with foundation so this might end up being a little bit of a longer video but i want you guys to you know actually know that why i do some processes like apply less amount of foundation what i like what i don't like so yeah i might blabber a little bit more in this particular video but i want you guys to have the full information regarding my summer makeup routine because i know people struggle in summer to apply makeup and it feels like you know it's very very heavy so for my concealer i am going to be using my instant age rewind concealer you guys know how much i love it and again this one is over i hope <laughs> So for my concealer I am using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer in the shade medium you can see that I've almost finished it and I think this is the last time I can use this particular tube I love this two bits it covers it is full coverage I like my concealer to be a little bit more full coverage because I have a lot of dark circles so I like them to be covered but trust me guys this is very very lightweight you won't even feel this on your skin it is that good there is a hair so yeah so i'm going to apply this concealer and cover the dark spots on my face so once i've applied my concealer i'm going to set it with my Krylon Matte Translucent Powder. You guys know that I absolutely love this. I think you guys must have gotten bored with me using the same products every now and then. But trust me, guys, I do not want to change my technique and show you all my summer makeup routine. I want you all to know that these are the products that actually work for me this summer, and you know, keep my makeup locked and it does not budge. So I'm gonna be using my Krylon Matte Translucent Powder, and I'm gonna set everywhere where I've applied my concealer specifically. So basically I'm just baking so that you know the powder is pretty well baking the underneath products on my face and you know it just does not budge And then once I have baked wherever I had applied concealer I like to set my rest of my face with my pack Studio Finish Compact Powder in CP03. Now this powder is exactly the shade of my skin tone and you do not want your powders to be lighter than your skin tone. You have to make sure it can be one shade darker because that can give you that tanned look, but it shouldn't be lighter otherwise you are going to look like a ghost. So now I actually like to use a powder to set the rest of my face because that just does not budge whatsoever and this pack powder is so finely milled and so good and so smooth it literally makes my face look airbrushed so what i like to do is just take a little bit and just stamp it into my skin i do not want to go in circular motions you want to stamp it in just to lock your base and now wherever i have applied the krylon powder as well i'm just stamping it there as well so that you know it gets mixed and sinks into your skin this is going to make sure that everything is 
locked in place. Even your under eyes, just take a little bit of this powder and just keep stamping it in. So now I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. And for that, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate. I love this two bits. I use it every single day. And I'm going to start shaping it with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with my Sivana Colors Smoky Brown Palette in 03. And I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with this particular shade right here. As you guys can see, I have literally made a hole in it. And yeah, this is the shade that I use every single day to fill in my brows. So now that my eyebrows are snatched, let's move on to our eyes. Now for my eyes, I have been doing this since a week straight now. So what I like to do is I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And I am going to be using this particular shade right here. It's called as Amber. And I'm going to apply this only in the outer corners of my eyes. And it's very, very easy to do. All you need is this pro art 217 brush you will get this brush in any of the beauty palace or beauty center stores like that and it's a dupe for the mac 217 brush and i absolutely love this brush so what i like to do is take a lot of product a lot of that eyeshadow and i'm just gonna place it at my outer corners just dabbing motion and just placing it and once I've placed it, I am going to move back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, only in the outer corners. And I'm just going to intensify this particular eyeshadow a little bit more. Again, place, move back and forth, back and forth. And once I'm happy with the intensity, I'm just going to take my brush, whatever is left in my brush, and just blend out its edges and even apply it in my transition area in windshield wiper motions and just flick the outside to give it a v-shape and just blend it in so you just want to place this eyeshadow in your outer corners that is how you're going to get that lift and just take a little bit of that eyeshadow and apply it in your lower lash line region as well and keep it pretty tight close to your lower lash line just like that and then once that is done i'm just gonna take the shade right here called as desert sand and apply it in my inner corners where i do not apply this eyeshadows halfway and that's how you're gonna get that very smooth lifted eye and then just take the same brush and like blend out the edges so for my mascara today i'm gonna be using the colossal big shot mascara along with the essence lash princess now this one gives me more of a length and this one gives me everything length volume everything so i like mixing these two because it gives me that very wispy thick lashes so now that our eyes are done, let's move on to the rest of our face. We are first going to start by bronzing because summer seasons call for bronzers and I like my skin to look very bronzy. For that, I have been using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer. Now, I love this bronzer. It does have a little bit of like a satin finish. It's not completely matte. It has a satin finish. That is how you know it makes my face look a little bit more healthier see can you see that bronziness it's such a natural bronzer it's not like a very deep red nor is it too warm it's the perfect in between shade so i do not have to use a contour shade it contours as well as bronzes my face so the next step is blusher for blush i love this blush guys I have mentioned this particular blush in a lot of my videos and I had stopped using it in the middle and somehow I saw it in my drawer and I wanted to use it again and ever since then I haven't stopped using it. This is the Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Bellissimo Bronze and let me tell you guys that this blush is so beautiful. Now it is not a very matte blush, it again has that satiny finish 
but it looks so healthy on the skin now since you've applied a lot of foundation and a lot of powder you want to get that healthiness back on your face and this does exactly that it gives me such a beautiful bronzy pinky blush to my cheeks i love it and i love using this pack 334 brush as my blush brush and whatever is left i like to apply it on my chin as well just to give it a little bit of flush do you see that it looks so damn pretty i love doing this i've been doing this very like recently just to you know i feel like it gives a lot of healthy baby flush to my face so the next part is my favorite part that is highlighter now i have two highlighters which i have been loving the first one has to be my maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold and the second highlighter that i recently purchased like i have started using this highlighter like i've been using this for like a week now a week straight guys and i love it this is the kylie jenner's loose powder highlight this is called as the ultra glow loose powder highlighter and this is in the shade pg and oh my god this is so blinding you guys i love this highlighter so let's just highlight wherever i highlight usually that is the tops of my cheekbones on the bridge of my nose and in my inner corners on my forehead region and a little bit on my chin so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this kylie highlighter and first apply it on my cheeks right here and then i'm gonna layer it with molten gold so we are gonna like literally bathe in highlighter and both are very blinding and they are such beautiful highlighters they are very very smooth on the skin they are not at all patchy and the best part about the kylie highlighter is it makes it look like a very wet kind of a glow and it looks like a glow from within i love this to bits do you see that that is what i'm talking about i actually don't need to go with the maybelline one but the maybelline one just adds a step higher like a step more and it like blinds let's go on with the maybelline one So once I've applied my highlighter, I like to go ahead and use this Avan, I think Avan, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, Thermal Spring Water and I'm going to bathe myself in this and this is what is going to keep my makeup locked as well as hydrate my skin and the powderiness that is on my face is going to vanish. So this step is very very crucial guys, you do not want to skip this, you can even up, like spread some rose water or any of the setting sprays that you all have which will lock your makeup and melt your makeup into your skin and then the last part that is remaining is lipstick for my lipstick today i'm gonna be using my huda beauty lipstick in the shade trendsetter i have been loving the shade this is so beautiful and the formula on her lipsticks are so stunning guys and this is like a warmer nudie shade perfect for the summers obviously and i'm obviously gonna use the nude shade guys this is the finished result this is how i do my makeup in this summer hot humid season and it does not budge i absolutely love this makeup why because it is glowy i use a lot of things which make my face mad but in the end i end up applying a lot of bronzer and blush and a lot of highlight which makes my face look a lot more glowier and a lot more healthier you do not want your face to look dead and matte and very cakey that is my entire point of this entire video so that you guys know that you can use a lot of matte base but still make your skin look healthy in the summers you do not have to go like with a very tight mask so yeah this is the makeup look i hope you guys like it i hope you guys try it out and it helps you guys out as well and i also wanted to say a thank you so 
to you guys like a really big thank you guys i love you guys i have gotten so much support from you i just recently hit 20k i'm very very grateful for that and i will continue to make videos which will help you guys out in the future so yeah that's it i'll see you all in my next one very soon until then bye